welcome to our Crazy Life Scotland. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Fiona and last weekend I was at the SECC in Glasgow at a craft show and I discovered that Comic-Con was on and, <coughs> excuse me, it made me think of my daughter Brooke. I made inquiries and discovered it was on the next day and decided to take her. Now, a bit of background about Brooke. She made her stage debut at the age of about two when she toddled onto stage during her pantomime one year. And the reaction that she got from the audience was amazing and her love for all things theatre was born. <laughs> Since then, she has loved dressing up and more recently, she usually got into cosplay. And it's one. It's something that she's been watching on YouTube for a while. She's been researching it and things, but she's never actually been to a live event. So when I saw Comic Con was on, I thought perfect. But I did have a few reservations because Brooke is twelve, but was diagnosed with autism about a year ago. She has Asperger's, so I wasn't sure how she would react to it. Whether she would want to get dressed up, whether she would be too self conscious, whether it would be too busy, too noisy for her. So I asked her and she said she wanted to go and we went along so stay tuned to find out how it went good morning so it's sunday morning and we are getting organized to go to in fact come this way because the lighting rubbish we're getting organized to go to brooks first comic con and look yay voila. are you putting your wig on and your glasses maybe maybe take them with you and then it's up to you. Please. Looking good though. Please. So you're looking forward to it? Yeah. Yeah. So am I actually. It was brilliant seeing everybody yesterday in costume. It was so cool. Hey, she's got the wig on. Yay. Oh, and your mask. Have you got a charge in your car? Because my phone's away at 24%. Yes. Good. Yay. Oh, your tie's on as well. <laughs> These are brilliant. Oh, okay. oh. Handmade marshmallows. Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at the hot chocolates there. Are. Yeah. Oh, I think that's brilliant milk and white chocolate. Yeah. They're brill. Just if you post it anywhere, can you tag us? These are fab. Thank you, thank you. Do you just make them or do you? Yes. Yeah. They're all everything handmade. Though. They're brill. <laughs> I love that. Oh, look at the heart with the wings. They're amazing. Oh, these are great. They're good, aren't they? <laughs> she's our friend and she's crazy. Stuck in the upside down. They're brill. Hi, Paul. Oh, is that what that is? <laughs> I still have finished watching them. Oh yeah, we well, got up to the second one. <laughs> oh, look at the lanyard. They're cool. <laughs> Costumes are brilliant. Brilliant, thank you. Love it. Can I take a car? Of course. Okay. Oh, these are amazing. Well done. Oh, look at Pac-Man. Oh, these are awesome. Yeah, this is toast. Brilliant! Absolutely brilliant! Oh, these are amazing! Look at the stickers! They are so cool! Slushy tie! Oh, brilliant! <laughs> Excellent! Thank you! Brooke went for a wander on her own and did some shopping. Let's see what she got. Cool. Yeah, I recognise her. Yeah. Fuzz bear, fuzz, fuzz bear. That's the new one. What is it? Alright, okay. The Pride flag. Pride flag, okay. Glasses that I'm wearing. Oh, I love those. That is brilliant. Fantastic. So go quite a lot of Brilliant. Yep, 
Looks like you. <laughs> oh, that is really cool. Does it look weird, does it? Yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. So, how was your first ever Comic Con experience? It was good. Good? Want to go to another one? Yeah, oh, I, where are you? <laughs> I'm here. That's five places. Ooh. <laughs> That's there, there. <laughs> Later. When we got back it was a lovely day so Brooke went paddle boarding to try out her new equipment. <laughs> it's so nice of fans out of... Nothing held. <laughs> Is that a tad cold? No, you can't wear them going up and down, Daddy. The water was easier than the walk back up. <laughs> the last 10 minutes was spent walking up the drive. Yeah, next time carry the slippers. When I was walking up the beach I fell. And Did that's you? why I've not got the slipper on properly. That's why you carry them. <laughs> it fell off. I think it may be shower time. I mean, happily. I don't know if I'd like Abby's out it yet though. <laughs> There you go, she had an absolute ball. I made this a separate vlog because I thought I had taken a lot more footage than I actually did, but I think I was just so in the moment with it all and a lot of what I did take was photos because I was so proud of Brooke. She took it upon herself to ask people if she could get her photos taken with them, which is unheard of. It was amazing for her confidence, it really was. So yeah, she did get a lot of photos taken, but because I didn't have permission from them to put the photos on YouTube, I didn't want to do it. But it was an absolutely brilliant day. Even I enjoyed it. And I was saying to Brooke, when do we go to our next one? The only thing is she won't let me dress up, which is sad. But yes, she really, really enjoyed it. I was just amazed at the, the variation of stalls that were there. There was everything from food to comics to crochet to other crafts to drawings to the caricaturist is that the word caricaturist what do you call someone who draws caricatures i don't know <laughs> write your answer in the comments below anyway we had to wait a good few hours to get brooks done but she really enjoyed that she sat still as a statue for ages getting that done and the guy was lovely as well so Everything about it was fantastic and what I loved was there was something there for all ages. They had a section for kids where they could colour in all their own things, they could draw their own things. They had little competitions, they had, I think they had cosplay competitions. There was loads of stuff going on. You could meet different people but I never knew any of them. And everybody was so friendly. It didn't matter what age you were, what size you were, what gender you were, everybody was accepted and I absolutely loved that. I don't know why I always had it in my head that I think an event like that would be very cliquey, that you know you had to know all about it or else you wouldn't fit in, but it was exactly the opposite. Everybody was welcomed with open arms. Even the staff outside were amazing. So, so good. And Brooke's reaction was just brilliant. It did get a little bit busy later on, but we had done everything by that point and she was more than happy to head home. But she was just able to relax and be herself and that made all the difference to her. It really, really did. So we are desperate to go to another one. I really must say, I'm really looking forward to going to another one and so is Brooke. So I would say if you've never been to a Comic-Con before, if you or a family member have fancied it but not sure what to expect, go for it. Honestly, everybody is so nice, so welcoming and it's just a lot of fun. The atmosphere was fantastic. It really was. And I would say if you have a friend, family member or if you yourself are autistic or um, neurodivergent, definitely go because I would say you're in good company there. There was a lot of people in exactly the same position. And I think that's why it was so inviting because nobody cared. Nobody judged anybody for anything. 
and I honestly cannot speak highly enough of it. So if you're thinking about it, go for it. That is my advice. I mean, I'm in a wheelchair. Again, if you're new here, I'm in a wheelchair and nobody looked twice at that either. Um, there was little kids walking about with parents. The kids were dressed up. The parents were dressed up. There was even babies dressed up. It was just brilliant. Yeah, as you can tell, we enjoyed it. So I'm sorry this vlog isn't longer than it is. I honestly did think I had taken more footage, but I hope you've enjoyed it anyway. I hope it's maybe given you an insight as to what Comic-Con is. I think I got my idea of it from watching The Big Bang Theory. Does anybody else watch The Big Bang Theory? And um, yeah, Sheldon and everybody took it so seriously and I thought everybody would be like that, but it's not at all. Anyway, I'm gonna stop havering on and head off now. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If so, please hit that thumbs up button. Talk to me in the comments below. Subscribe if you haven't already. We would love to have you here at Our Crazy Life. And don't forget to hit that bell notification so you get notified every time we upload a video. Thanks everyone, bye.